This video is sponsored by MyMetalCards at Etsy.com So yes, this is a new upcoming uh, shop which uh, specializes in selling like a lot of metal cards So hence the name So it ranges and specializes in like a lot of games uh, such as Comfort Vanguard, MTG and Warhammer So in this case, if you see here for Vanguard, they have energy counters for every nation, um, there's also like treasure tokens for MTG. Um, there's also like plenty other designs for uh, Vanguard, such as like uh, fated ones. There's also like nation ones. There's also it comes with acrylic ones. It's more transparent acrylic ones. So that's pretty cool if you want to get one of these. That's also nice. And also there's plenty of other designs which are not uh, in this uh, shop, but you can. Uh, custom uh, pre-order them. You can like order them customly, such as like uh, my um, Chronojet Black and White Energy Counter, which is like zero to ten. Um, there's also like Black and White like um, Nation cards, such as like Brand Gate, which I have over here, and also like uh, they have like Na IOT uh, Energy count uh, like Energy Markers, uh, Energy Counters, uh, which I have like all three like Bronze, Super, Gold, respectively. So that's about it. And also, if you go to this shop and have the code, uh, coupon code uh, Enoxays, uh, E N O C H S A Y S, uh, E N O C H S A Y S, you get five dollars off for your first uh, for your first purchase of from one of these uh, you know metal cards as well. So um, five again. Uh, Enoch says E N O C H uh, S A Y S for five dollars off for your first purchase, and do check them out. There's plenty of designs, uh, and you can use them to spicify your deck to make it bling, make it fancy. Um, do keep in mind that since these are uh, custom made energy um, uh, markers or what sort of counters or whatsoever, you cannot use them in like official Bushiro uh, you know tournaments, but you can use them to, uh, as a form of like collection or whatsoever and. There you go, uh, just pick one of these up and probably, hopefully you'll like them. I like it personally, so do give them the support and that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Hello everyone, it's Professor Ina 95 back with a short recap of what's happening uh, this afternoon. So this afternoon is actually the Bushiro presentation stream. Uh, for you know, for the second uh, for the second quarter of the year. So this time round, they will be releasing some news related to um, set four, uh, set four and set five, as well as other lyrical stuff as well. Um, so very big reviews, very surprising, and also we will be be going through some of the band lists. Um, and also like uh, any other important news that is really related to some of the things that we um, you know what we have heard and seen today. Um, so, without further ado, before we get straight into the whole um, news recap, I'm just gonna say that this is going to be a very short one, so I'm just gonna get it done and quick and over with. Um, considering how some of you just um, just don't like to listen to a lot of like whiny stuff when you can like, um, you know. Um, but I just want to like give a little bit of my like reactions and my perceptions like based on some of the things I've seen so far. Um, so before we get straight into the whole reviews, if this is your first time in this channel, if you do like my content in this channel, please do hit like and subscribe, and you know stay tuned for more uh, Vanguard content to come. So actually, um, what we have here for this afternoon actually, uh, we, is that we have like six uh destined ones, uh that is actually in um. Vanguard uh, anime Divine Season 2 so this time around they will be introducing like 6 new characters well, technically 6 new red lines 4 new characters and 2 returning ones so uh, this is, has been counting down for the past 6 days or so so um, but we know that some of the characters are uh, playing are you know playing technically playing which nation is which um, but it's also important to like see like what kind of red lines they are doing so for this one is that um, so for this one round, we have uh, Kuon Aikawa or Aikawa Kuon. Uh, so he's playing the Destiny 1 of Infinity Levitra, so he's technically a Stoi uh player. So in the anime, in the PV, apparently he's like Sumo's rival as well, which is really interesting. Um, and that's one thing for sure. Um, also, we are looking at... Um, um, what's her name again? Uh, Sionji Yuna. Okay, Sionji Yuna is technically... Uh, playing Lyrical Monasterio and her Vanguard is uh, Destined One of Supremacy Lishak Bell. So just to uh, give you guys a closer look as to 
um, what her art looks like. And on first glance, actually, I thought uh, when her character first revealed, we, 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 uh, some of us were speculating if she's playing Laurel Nero, um, which is quite funny, but obviously it's not. It's actually a new right line, which is basically, if you can look closely, that's like a cat girl per se. Um, but yes, I mean, that's, you know, closely enough to a Laurel Nero clone or something like that, you know, um, just the aesthetics. But this one, uh, one is like a, somewhat of a mix of a dragon and like, uh, um, I don't know what is that supposed to be, an insect, but since this is a story Kia, you know, um, anything goes, so um, it is what it is, so that's one thing for sure. And so for the next character we have is uh, uh, the vice CEO of the uh, Kyokura group, so technically Taizo's uh, vice CEO, so technically this is uh, Kurosaki Koma uh, or Kyoma. So yeah, he is, his finger is Destiny 1 of Scales uh, El Kuriba, so which is Cool. And one thing uh, I'm kind of like very impressed is like that he's like he, he kind of exudes that like a uh, you know dominant energy with this guy this dude uh, because like his, his his pose is pretty cool as well and uh, and his vanguard is technically of course dragon empire related um so that's one thing for sure over there so uh, Al Kuriba is his vanguard and uh, the next one is very interesting so this is uh, Destin one of Exceedance in Haldo. Uh, so this is, uh, her name is uh, Kanai Senka, uh, which is voiced by Izumi Kita. So, so some of you who are very familiar with that name, Izumi Kita is basically um, the voice actress of Misaki. So she will be coming back this time round. And a lot of people actually pointed out that this is a very funny art at the same time. So this, it, if this art actually... Um, how would I explain this? This kind of have a resemblance to Alter Ego Messiah, right? So which is not uh, very far-fetched as well and also like it's, it's kind of like Ezo in like a you know Ezo in the mecha suit or something along those lines so some people I've seen people actually like try to do that com uh, comparison uh, which is not wrong you know it's, it's technically like a mecha per se it's an alien slash mecha because you can see here it's like a little bit of that robotic gear uh, mecha-ish vibes they can give you uh, but then again the art is like almost like look, look almost look the same as like Alter Ego which is not also not surprising because this is also drawn by uh, Hisashi Momose who is also the um, I would say the artist for both uh, Alter Ego and also uh, in powder as well so this is also like uh, this character uh, Senka is also um, Nao's a uh, toy thing to the bio is also by uh, is also my Nao's childhood friend, so it's just interesting. Um, next time round we have uh, Jinky is back. Jinky this time round he will be using uh, Destin one of protection Alden. So of course Alden is gonna get a Destin uh, you know get a Destin form uh, of course which is a divine steel Alden which is pretty nice and and etc. So you know um, Jinky is back. Uh, voiced by Daiki, uh, Yamashita Daiki, which is technically Deku's voice actor too, so yeah, this is uh, very very fun to uh, see. Um, last but not least, and this is the most surprising thing uh, since yesterday actually, as, as, as like the day before, um, Hikari is going to be the destined one for the Dark States, and probably um, to the surprise of not many people, or some of us could be surprised, but some of us are also not really surprised, is that this is technically Liao, but in Dark State. So technically it's like a reverse, I wouldn't technically like say reverse Liao, is technically Liao in uh, before the timeline, like in the past, before she was like well, resurrected in the future, in the lore or something along those lines, I don't, I'm not sure how, um, what's how the lore goes, but of course, uh, Liel is back, but her name is not Liel Amorta. That is Kata Sanctuary one. The this one is called uh, also Destined One of Time, Liel Odium. So Liel Amorta is the des uh, is the fated one of time. This one is the Destined One of Time, Liel Odium. So which is pretty interesting, and of course I am very excited as a Dark Six player to have them actually reveal that Hikari is actually the Destined One for um you know, for Liao, for Dark States, uh, for, you know, very nice design. Uh, because 
Um, her design is technically a mirror of the Omoto. Of course, if you guys already noticed this in the first place, it's not very hard. You know, it's just a mirror version. But the gear aesthetics is also like pretty uh, insane. Um, very you know very nice. Uh, and honestly speaking, I really dig the art. And not to mention that I'm not sure in the card later on in the like she is going to be a, either an angel or she's going to be a, like a gearoid, but mostly it's going to be like a gearoid, I think. Um, because if she was the angel, if she was an angel, uh, she would technically be the first angel in the entirety of Dark, Z uh, Dark States or Dark Zone. Um, but I think for for the standard in for like for the reference. Um, this is going to be like the first angel in Dark States if if her uh, race is actually angel and not Gearoid. But I think uh, it's more probably leading to Gearoid. So yes, Destiny, one of time, uh, uh, Liao, uh, Odium, and Hikari is back actually, so which is nice, uh, really cool. Um, the anime season 2 will be on July 6th, which is 2 weeks away, so uh, we have to wake up pretty early at this point. I think it's around like um, uh, 8am in the morning, uh, which here in Malaysia is around like 7am, so it's like 1 hour early GMT plus 7 or GMT plus... Uh, I think it's like GMT plus 7 if I'm not mistaken, or GMT plus 9, I'm not sure. Um, I here I mean like in Malaysia it's GMT plus eight. Uh, but like Japan is probably like one hour. So because like in that time it's eight a.m. Here it's seven a.m. So we are technically one hour earlier. You know along those lines, right? So um that's one thing to keep note. So keep track uh, of like the new anime. And also since uh booster pack zero four uh which is like set four will be releasing in August. Um they will release the first. Five of the first wave or the first five of the destined uh, destined ones, um, except for Liao Amota, which is really sad because I wish uh Liao it should be in this set. I thought it was supposed to be all six of them, but apparently not. Um, so she's the she's she's the one uh, being left out in this set. But then again, um, a new right lines new set. So technically, all five of them are here. So which is interesting. And also, um, contrary to popular uh, popular belief, this uh, like contrary to what most people might think, is this going to be called the Destined skill? No, it will be confirmed as Divine skill. Um, nothing changes. So, uh, Destined ones use Divine skill. Fated ones also use Divine skill. Uh, all of them use Divine skill. There is not there is no difference. So. All of the Destined ones will definitely use Divine Skill, okay? The name is called Divine Skill and not Destined Skills, okay? Just to keep that in mind. However, um, being that in mind, Amorta, even though Amorta is not going to be in set 4, she will be in set 5, which will be on October. So, which is technically four, 3 to 4 months away from, you know, from today. Uh, probably close to 3 months, so which is really interesting. I am... Hyped for this set. Actually, I'm really, really hyped for this set. Um, I really wanted to get a place out of uh, Liel uh, Odium as soon as possible. Um, I is she going to be expensive? Who knows? That depend on the you know depends on how good she is, etc. So, um, you know, Hikari is on the cover page, which is really interesting. So that that there she is. Um, and alongside with uh Liel Odium as well. Um. Next, we have two more encounters. Actually, actually, I would say like a new right line per se. Prisms are back, but this time round we have uh, Vert, Rosa, and Clear, uh, who will be coming back into encounter and D as well. And this is something that most people did not really expect: is that like prisms are actually um, coming uh, like prisms actually make appearance now. Uh, so last time it was a lyrical. Uh, it was like last year's lyrical where they introduces like Prison Labrador uh, along like alongside with like the two other girls. I think I don't remember those two girls and because I'm not very familiar with uh familiar triangle, so you have to hold me on uh, hold me against that one because I don't remember what their names are. Uh, but this time around they would have prisms and they will be a new right line. Then again, um, since they are prisms, they uh, technically could be could be able to tech into the existing Labrador deck. So we'll see how the card goes, we'll see how what the skill is. Um, there are uh, definitely some card interactions there because you can search out uh, prisons and whatnot. Um, you can play in Labrador, yada yada. So uh, Labrador could be getting 
pretty strong. Um, I'm not sure if it goes the same way for uh, for weird as well. Um, so next thing is also very important and also very surprising, and which I have actually predicted. I've um, predicted like about like a week ago, a few days ago, in a sense that like I was expecting Coral and Reindeer to come into standard and like part of the encounter. Boom! I was right. Um, Coral is now back in standard. Coral is now back in B, and she will be the second uh, right line of the encounter right line in this set, which is pretty cool and pretty nice. Um, so yes, of course, Coral is now back as usual, and the most blissful thing, the most beautiful thing that Librico players finally can get in this set is we have Volsham Plunk being reprinted this time around, so which is very nice, very cool. Um, not to mention that aside from Belgian Blanc, there are also like uh, there are also reprints, other reprints to come out, which I will get, definitely show you guys later. So Belgian Blanc is reprinted, very nice. Uh, lyrical players can rejoice because of course you can play this in mostly in Realista and Labrador, but also you can play in any lyrical decks in, in general, right? So which is nice, well done. Uh, uh, props to Bishiro for actually like doing this kind of reprint, which this is a reprint that is desperately really needed by Lyrical players. Um, not that I play Lyrical, but I can understand the pain of like having like a like only one time print of a Blanc and never again. So hopefully by the end of this year, um, they could release a reprint set where they reprint all of uh, reprint all of the. Uh, and what do you call that? The right cyclists like Lemina's, uh, Spiral Cuties, and also like the Energy Blasters, if they are so keen to do that, or probably they could do something along the lines of like um, generics in general, like other generics that are important in some of the other nations, right? So one thing for sure uh, for Deluxe. Uh, for I think this one is applicable. I mean, I, of course, this is Chiho Cup uh, season two. But in Malaysia, sooner or later, we will gonna have to get this kind of like crest later on, which is the Taizo uh, Taizo crest and also the Dark States OT. However, the Dark States OT is not the Dark States OT. It will be Bound Not, which is the Red OT. So um, definitely for those people who are aiming for topping next WGP uh, for Deluxe or whatsoever, uh, if you guys want to. You know, aim for the best and get this one. Uh, try your best. Good luck. So, that's it. Next thing we have here for Deluxe VR Pack Volume Two for 2024 is that we were getting all of the right lines from BZPT01 up all the way until the current one, which is in DPT0, uh, BZPT03, and also uh, right lines like FR right lines for Luhan and also Zlans, which is also nice, which is very interesting. So yes, you can see, um, we have the Blank Mayo right line, we have the Welsh right line, we have the Astrum right line as well. This one is the some of the QS, uh, the Quick Start decks, uh, tri uh, right line, uh, Trial deck right lines will also be here. Um, they are all 80, um, 80 types of this. That the the next seven cards is still not sure. What are those cards yet? I mean, it's up for speculation as to like what to like. Uh, who are the cards that is going to be reprinted in FR? So uh, keep an eye out for that. So as you can see, there's also the Mordalian right lines. There's also the um, the Rezaio right line, the Magnolia right line, Lascaria right line, etc., etc. So plenty of uh, very new cool FR designs for all of the uh, right lines as well. Um, Michu, of course, Michu. I'm not gonna go through the whole length of like doing Michu. So, but technically speaking, um, keep to make. Uh, things short, this Michu is not considered as a dress up, it's just like considered as like since this is the glitter, since Michu and Nokino is considered as glitter, um uh this is not a glitter deck but it's also like uh decks like Red Eva, like Poison in Paradise Eva, um uh, Iridescence Flash, Rorova, it's the new Red Tree form for Michu. Um which is awesome, so I'm not gonna get into the skills. I think like if I put it here, you guys screenshot it and then you just read it, but it's all I mean just do it that. Um great three common support for Michu, which is okay. And also we have a uh, great two not you know this time now. Uh so to put things um you know to shorten things, um this rear guard can essentially give you to drive check uh if none of your other rear guards has performed the drive check. So um, essentially, Michu can now do um, 
four drive checks per turn, right? So you can do maximum four attacks and uh, and not, not maximum, like minimum you can do four attacks and you can do a maximum of four drive checks. So yes, that's uh, that's what the Nocuno does actually. Um, the great two Nocuno. Um, next one we have the the rare cut. So technically the rare cut is technically like the superior riders for all of the beaters. So which is interesting. So this uh, usually like for decks like Eva, Chaos, um, Tegria, uh, they all have PRs. But this time round for the superior riders in Michu, this will be as released as a rare. So very cool, very interesting, and it only costs you like energy plus three to just ride it. Um, to mention about something about the the reprints earlier, aside from Roshan Blanc, we also get uh, Aurora. Uh, so Aura is also the card that is like when her when she uh, when this unit attack boost like when she boosts and the attack hits. Uh, technically you can just retire herself and search your attack for up to one other card and put it into her hand and shuffle your deck. Uh, highly sought after card and uh, has a lot of like play, uh, playing rates because like decks like Lutetia might need it, uh, decks like Kyoka might need it. Uh, or, or you can just take um, at least like one or two to like search for like your gems and your all your regalis piece sanctitudes because this is not restricted to uh, looking for uh, regalis piece as well. Um, because like back then because before regalis piece was a thing like they say that specifically look for an order card which means that you can technically look for element fire sanctitude. Um, so which is cool and she's being reprinted which is nice I really welcome this uh, this card because like, this card is also very very expensive at this I, I think um, and also we have like reprints uh, for effect triggers effect create effect draws and effect fronts which is nice but also they have to re re reprint the OT which is like the alternate art OT so last year's uh, OT was like the I think was it the cat one the, the pink the one with the king pink, uh, the, the one with the pink background uh, which was last year in Lyrical, um, Lyrical Booster Set. Uh, so this time around they will be releasing the Angel one. Uh, so it's going to make the or uh, Lyrical OT way cheaper depending on where or like where and when or uh, like what kind of effects you want to put the Lyrical OT in. So that's about it. Um, next up, I want to talk about like uh, Michu's and Nokinos RSR. So also, which is pretty nice. I really, I I really love Nokinos. LSR. It's not because like I'm saying that Mitchell's LSR is bad. I think I prefer Nocturno's LSR much better, right? The the art is really nice and I really dig the art. Um so both of them are pretty nice and they are pretty cute. Um pretty uh shiny Kira Kira because of the stars in the background, but yeah, Nokino looks amazing in this one, so yes, definitely very nice. Um, so next Tuesday we'll be having a dress up uh, reviews for Kyoka and Lutisha with generic triple rares. So this Thursday as well, we'll also have uh, getting reviews for Coral. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, so for some of us, and I think. That's about it. I think this is going to be a rather quick recap. I'm just not gonna like check it any further. Uh, and I think I'm gonna end this video right here, right now. So do put it in the oh yeah. Before that, before we get into that, uh, the whole uh debacle about the next week, right? Okay. Actually, as a matter of fact. There is no new ban list, and uh, which is pretty funny. There is no change in the ban list. There is no unbanning of Stigana. There is no rest choice restriction. There is no some on ban. Yada yada. All three formats in this um in this stream this time round, no change whatsoever. So that's about it. But however, um, there are also like Bushiro also released. Uh, how you say like a statement, a press statement about like they had, some of the decks are pretty much on the watch list like um, Vagra, Shiranui, Selga on, uh, Rezael with Selga on Hostage, uh, Hostage Lua, Hostage uh, Rezael because of the set orders. Uh, you can call out the Liao Amortas from the like from the rear guard as and considered it as a perfect guard. Um, Shadow Cloak with the PG bouncing back and with like another generic uh triple ray, uh, the story here triple ray with, with the flower girl somewhat. Um, I'm not entirely and uh, like I don't understand the details or like the full details of it, but there are those are some of the the list of decks and cards that are on Bushiroad's watch list for the time being. So. 
until they make a proper decision on like what to come out for the next panelist in September. So the next presentation stream will be on the 23rd of September if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we have to wait until then and see how things go, right? So that's about it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end this video right here, right now. Um, if you have any um, comments about like how do you feel about the reviews this time around if there's like anything you're so excited for uh, what do you think about the ban list like no changes in the ban list what do you feel or, like what do you get you excited for the next few months of uh, the release uh, please do put it down in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys on the next video this has been professor enox 95 signing out we